you know, if I were Miguel Cotto right now, being offered ten million dollars to fight Canelo. In fact, it's over ten million. It's in excess of ten million. That's Richard Schaefer's words. E King Fight News. What up, guys? If I were Miguel Cotto, oh, I would not know what to do at this point in time. I would really have to. I would have to do one thing, and that would be keep your options open. You know, there's once you take this Canelo fight, you know, you have to understand once Cotto takes that road, he will be stuck with Showtime. I don't think Bob Arum will want to work with him uh, as much as he does now. Why? Because uh, Cotto already jumped back to top rank with the Delvin Rodriguez situation. Cotto has stated he wants to end his career with top rank, right? So, if he takes one fight with top rank and then jumps, jumps ship to Golden Boy and Canelo Alvarez, you know, that doesn't look so good on, on, in the loyalty column, if you know what I mean. I think Cotto has to understand that. Yeah, I agree with 78. Shout out to 78. He did a great video. Uh... And I think if, if he sticks with the top rank situation, you know, 154, you know, take a solid fight, Carlos Molina would be a good, would be a solid matchup. Carlos Molina didn't look that great against E.J. Smith. I think a guy like Miguel Cotto would, be, would, would give Molina a, a very competitive matchup. And, um, you know, that would be a real interesting fight. I think that would be very interesting. But, it, again, it's a must win. For Miguel Cotto, who who has the, the ability to beat a guy like Carlos Molina, he's got the ability, he's got the skills, and uh, he can really trouble uh, a guy like Molina on the inside as long as he doesn't get tied up like James Kirkland did. Now, um, with the Canelo situation, you got to understand Canelo Alvarez. If he if he fights another guy. You know, oh, there's a lot of killers in up on 54. You know, go, I, I don't think Golden Boy wants to give him soft touches anymore. Coming off of the Mayweather loss, it just looks a little bit, you know, it looks pretty light, you know, for Ken Alvarez to be, you know, undefeated. He takes his first loss versus Mayweather, and then he goes back to fighting the Jose Zito Lopez of the world. I think that's pretty light. And I think there's a demand for Canelo to face the, face the elite. You know, if you could fight Floyd Mayweather, you could fight an Arislan Lara, you can fight Alfredo Angulo, you can you can move up and wait and fight a Sergio Martinez, you can do a lot of different things. Um, especially when you are one of the top dogs in terms of uh, money generation in boxing. So uh, here's uh, the Richard Schaefer quote. The main topic of discussion was a potential Canelo fight. He's speaking on his meeting he had with Miguel Cotto. I made him a very lucrative offer, eight figures, well in excess of $10 million. He said he's going to let me know what he decides to do. I told him it, it would be one fight deal or a series of fights, whatever he wants to do. Schaefer told Boxing Scene. Um, right now, Cotto is, is sort of... Uh, in talks with Sergio Martinez. That's another situation that he could um, take advantage of, being with top rank. So it's really up to Miguel Cotto. Personally, I think it's a lot better to lose to Sergio Martinez than it is to lose to Canelo Alvarez, right? Perhaps, you know, you know, t take Carlos Molina, then move up, fight Sergio Martinez. You know, that's definitely going to look good, and especially if you could, you yeah. know, if you, especially if you could beat a guy like Sergio Martinez, he's going to go down in history as, as one of the greatest, right, from Puerto Rico. So, you know, Cotto definitely has a lot of options, and he's got to keep them open, you know. These, these next moves right here, millions of dollars at stake, and he can't take a loss. So he's got to tread carefully and, um, and accept. This is, what Richard, this is also what Richard Schaefer had to say. Uh, no, of course, it would be a different offer if Cotto lost to Martinez. We talked about that as well. A Sergio fight, if he wants to maximize his revenues, a Canelo fight is certainly much bigger than Sergio Martinez. 
I I'm sure you heard the rumblings as well. And I hope Sergio is okay, but who knows uh, if he's able to fight. It's like the wheels are coming off. There are a lot of question marks behind a potential Sergio Martinez fight. It's just not a slam dunk. Obviously, Schaefer wants Cotto to take the Canelo fight. Um, he's saying, you know, with the Canelo fight, the mo this is where you're going to make the most money. He knows the date, and there will be no options as well. Which basically means he doesn't have to stick to Golden Boy, but pretty much you're pretty much turning your back on top rank at this point. So it's really all to Miguel Cotto. What does he want to do? You know, if he beats Canelo, uh, this is a situation. If he be in the situation that he beats Canelo, then, you know, this is where Schaefer's getting sneaky. He's like, okay, we'll give you that Floyd Mayweather option. That could be an option as well. So, you know, that definitely is a, a very luring opportunity. And I would, I would definitely say, um, you know, being one way away... One win away from Floyd Mayweather is very hard to uh, turn down, right? So, you know, Miguel Cotto is going to be Miguel Cotto. He's he's always fought the best in his career, and I think with this offer on the table, he just might take it. He just might, but it really depends where he stands and his strategy in terms of how he wants to take over. Because everyone has their own little strategy in their head on how they want to take over the division, and Miguel Coz is going to implement what he wants to do and uh, you know what's best for his family, I guess. So let me know what you guys think it is what it is. Peace out.